Hello guys, my name is Kyla Bologna. Welcome, if you are new with us, welcome back if you've been here before. Um, first off, very excited. Today we are going to be reacting to a video of a guy reacting to me dyeing my hair. Um, I'm really excited. This guy's name is Hair Buddha. I've never filmed a video like this, so apologies in advance. Um, I'm really excited. Um, I hope you guys can see my screen now. But um, let's let's jump right into this I thumbnail. The fact that I'm the thumbnail, a um, incredible, really exciting, um, really funny title. She ruins her hair with uh, bright bleach kit hair just for react. So I'm assuming it's it's all me. I got about not dyeing my hair for probably the last four to six months, but today. <laughs> mental breakdown so like walmart hey <laughs> sorry kind of a the fact that this guy is so silent is really funny um i've never seen this guy before this video has been up for three days and it has thirty three thousand views which is hilarious um the silence is what gets me. I remember when Brad Mondo re reacted to this video and it was the funniest thing in the world. And I I think even watching this video back is so funny because it's just interesting how much I've changed over time. We got a bleach kit, color oops, because I already have black, us, <laughs> pink hair dye, which I'm very excited about. Uh, this is gonna be so funny and I know it. I'm like, there's no way this guy can be silent for 12 minutes. He has to talk at some point. But his facial expressions are on point. They're just great. And purple shampoo. Yeah, because it's a package and you get the purple shampoo for free because everybody's buying purple shampoo. Oh my. So you... <laughs> I colored your hair four or five months ago. Mm -hmm. I hear you thinking the color is out. No, you have a big regrowth and this is all colored. Yeah, so accurate. It will be very difficult to get it in one color. Normally, you should take sections and then only bleach the black box dyed head and then do that again. Yeah. And then do that again until you are happy with the color and then do the rest of your head. The second part, roots, very last. So if you are in a salon and you are asking to remove that color, you will be in a salon for a whole day and it will cost a lot of money. But if you are yeah. mentioning that you want pink head because you bought pink color, no. To get to pink, you will need to go to platinum. I spent He's He's a thousand percent correct. With what my hair was prior, it would have required a color correction, which is basically that whole day in the salon and it costs a lot of money. It's the most expensive service you could get done. My hair at that point was a mess. Um, I've been dyeing my hair on and off since I was probably in like middle school. So like at this point, my hair was not the worst it's ever been, but it definitely was not the best. It was really bad actually. Um, but yeah, he's a thousand percent correct. There is no way realistically I would have ever achieved whatever I thought I wanted to get out of this. Five dollars on supplies. I have a work trip tomorrow, so. I am the worst. I am the worst person at this. And I know this, I know this for a fact. I will. I will always do things when I have a crazy event the next day. It's always when I'm at my most manic. For no reason at all. But I think it really thickens the plot and it keeps it really interesting in my life. It makes it fun. Loki can't be bad. And I'm just excited to have the most fun right now. I hope you will have fun. And always people try to change their head drastically if they want to do something the next day a trip new work marriage a birthday a party i don't know what there is a date the closer the date the more excited they are to change their hair drastically no time to fix it no 
If you do it the week before, then you have time to fix it. But no, tomorrow is the big happening. Tomorrow is the big thing. So no time to fix. <laughs> that was rip. He's right. He's so right. And that was honestly so accurate. It's like, I always, it's always right before the event that I'm always like, okay, crazy change. Like, I think I even cut all my hair off when I had something crazy the next day. And I was like, okay, guys, like, now my hair is all short. Like, it's just, it's really funny for me. It keeps, it keeps it fun. I love to have fun. And, like, personally, it's just hair. It does grow back. Like, I'm very fortunate, you know? I didn't know it was this color remover. Are you going to apply that only on the black boxed head? So only the ends? You know... What he's saying, only on the ends for that black, for that color remover, that, that's a great thought that, um, that Kylie did not think about. So, he's accurate. That is a piece with regrowth. Where you are putting the color hoops now, there was no box dye. <laughs> Yeah, there was no box time, not at all. There was, there was no box time. There was no reason for me to cut color hoops there. But you know what? I did, and that's okay. Lord, where is the box time? Now you are putting color hoops on natural head. And you need to take final sections. I feel like in a perfect world, <laughs> I would have bought two of these. But I'm alive. I want the cheapest stuff because I know I don't have any money. <laughs> I want the cheapest stuff because I know I don't have any money. And then awkward silence is intense. It's intense. His silence is so intense. It speaks volumes. I want to do this that bad. Yes. And honestly, that's usually when I dye my hair. It's like, when I have no money and I'm like pretty much struggling to dye my hair. I really understand. Even if you don't have money, you deserve to have a change in your head. Everybody, every Probably. woman, every man wants to have some change to feel themselves better. But there are so many good tutorials and explanations on the internet. If you know you don't have any money and it will not change in a short amount of time, do some research. YouTube is free and look what is possible with your head. So next time, if you want to have a change that you know what to buy and what not to buy, so your money is well spent and you don't buy random things like now for pink, if you saw the right tutorials, you will know that this will not be possible. So the money is thrown away because you will not yeah. have a good result. If you want to have a good change with your head, the color hoops is a good idea to remove the black box dyed head. Then you can use a little bleach with Penvo, put it on your head, and then you have a light brown. And then you put a brown, a light brown on your head. I know it's not a major difference, but you will feel good because you have a good result and you have a change from black to light brown. Focus on the things that you can buy and then work with that. Buy the right things so it's not money thrown in the bin. I have to be... Honestly, he's a thousand percent correct. He is so correct. Like if I really wanted a good result, A, I could research. B, I'm very fortunate enough where my sister is literally a hairdresser. I could buy the products and she would do my hair. Like that's the world I live in. And it's, I choose to do this <laughs> almost to see how bad I can screw it up. I think it's like a, a game I like to play with myself. And it's just really interesting to see other people's perspective on that. And I really love this. Also, it's like, you know, now my hair is so short and so like great. That I look at this version of myself and I'm like, wow, I was such a different person. And it's so crazy to think about. Work for 5.30 tomorrow. And when I'm 
my man is just gonna have no idea that my hair just pink now. I'm so, so, so sorry. You still believe that your hair is going to be pink. I will jump in and say, please, don't think it will be pink. It breaks my heart. My goal? It will not be pink. It wasn't pink. It was, <laughs> it was atrocious. And the next day I had to wake up at 3 a.m. to go to this, like, me I just went to, like, a meeting at work. Like, we went to a different store and we did, like, this meeting where I got to meet a bunch of different people and it was just, like, Fine. Nobody also really cares about what I look like, which is nice. It's really nice. Color wise, and uh, ideally, I want chunky pink highlights. So... Um, it's really funny because when Brad Mondo reacted to this, he was like freaking out and he was like, if you want chunky pink highlights, why are you doing your whole head? And that's a great point. I think in this perspective, like I knew that my hair was not gonna be great. So my plan was to after that, eventually get it fixed because even prior to this, I had that huge stripe in the back of my head where I like messed it up really bad. I think that was prior to this or it might've been because of this. And you know, I was gonna get it done anyways. <laughs> I have a vibe right in my pink. Be careful what you wish for. I actually did chunky pink highlights and I really liked it. I really did. However, since then I've cut all my hair off. But I would definitely do it again. I loved it. Don't put colorful on your root roots. Definitely should not have been putting it on the root. <laughs> Color up here on like the root or anything like that. Watching this guy stare in but disbelief. I was going to say this will be so chunky, so choppy, so spotty, but yeah. I want it chunky pink. So, yeah. The instructions say that yeah. we're doing this on for 60 minutes. Alexa, will you please set a time for 60 minutes? <laughs> So, honestly, don't know why I kept in that part with Alexa, but I think it's really funny, so that's probably why I did <laughs> But I feel like everybody's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I love this. I love this. I think, I think this is so bad, and it's funny. We are going to sit around with the bag. And then we're gonna come back and rinse. Uh, I just got out of like washing my. I haven't even turned around yet. And I just like. I'm like, this is gonna be crazy. <laughs> I just know it is. And let it dry a little bit. this poor guy <laughs> and I think it's so funny <sighs> in all seriousness my hair was botched in this but my hair has been way more botched <laughs> um, it's like orange all over and that was definitely a bleach bath <laughs> and not just color remover. that's what I always say Color Oops is not just working on your cosmetic pigments, on your box dye pigments. It's also taking away your natural pigments. That's a proof, but chunky? Yeah, it's getting there. My hair is- I mean, I really respect the support this man is giving me. He's really, he's really trying to root for me, and I respect that. We must try now. Uh. I'm doing an English fan and it's very blonde. I've decided that I don't know what I think blonde means, but that is not it. It's just not. As little damage to my hair as possible. So I'm just gonna slap the color on there. This is the pink color that you <laughs> Even I'm cringing. And it's me. Honestly, this man
makes me want to go through a lot of my old videos and be like, how cringy are these? <laughs> because are they all that bad? <laughs> ah, that pink is way too light. It's not going to cover anything. Smash all there. So the colors I have to work with are this lime crime and the shade bunny, which is like a pastel pink. Which is not going to cover anything. It's too light. Which, like, I believe oh. my hair would probably be this color. No, no not with this poor man. I'm traumatizing him. This may I panic. Um, in hot pink. And I also have one in electric pink pussy hair. So you have three different pink colors. Why? Mm. Pastel pink. <laughs> Why? Because pink is my favorite color. It is my aesthetic <laughs> that is why i have three colors of pink i probably have four colors of box dye pink in this house right now if i wanted to look but that's just because unfortunately i'm an addict i love to dye my own hair and i love the color pink it's just my favorite forget about that to have a pastel pink you need to have platinum blonde if it's bright pink yeah you can have that on that blonde but it's really chop oh you wanted that Oh, I didn't say anything. Period. <laughs> this he's so supportive. I like him. I like him a lot. I think I'm just gonna mix them all together. <laughs> his face his face when I said I think I'm just gonna mix them all together. He was like, What? <laughs> You're going to mix all the all the pigs together? Why? I'm pretty just covering my whole I see why everyone loved this video. This is my most popular video. And honestly, it's really funny. It's really funny. Oh my god. Dad literally looks like bubblegum. It's not what your hair is going to look like. Dad is like my dream hair color. I'm so sorry. It's not gonna look like that. So, so, so sorry to disappoint you. The effort, the effort that I am trying to put in is so intense. It's so intense. That's the one color I would be like, yes. I want this to stick so bad. There's no way. That color is going to be like a pink. No, it will not. I'm so sorry. It will not. I feel like this is very much like a, a cute Barbie pink. And I'm just Me trying to make up for all my past mistakes in the video. <laughs> I feel like this is like a, it's a cute Barbie pink. Love that for me. In love with that. That is yeah. going to say to her that it's not going to work. She will figure it out, but I want to spare her the disappointments. So I respect that. I respect that so much. I think sometimes I'm like, I just don't want to be disappointed, and then it just happens, and I'm like, you know what? Uh, it's character building. I've learned something from this, and I appreciate that. But um, yeah, I yeah. I kind of like to watch myself get disappointed, but I'm like, oh, that's bad. That's not good. It will be an example of really doing something impulsively, mm -hmm. buying stuff that is not going to work. Mm -hmm. So the disappointment will be big. And yeah, that's why I say, if you want to achieve something, do some research and then buy the right stuff or figure it out that it's not possible for your head. I am gonna keep this going. He's he's so accurate. I I do really respect that. He's very he's very accurate. And we will be back. I just put in all that color throughout my hair. We're gonna leave it up for probably like forty minutes, and then we'll wash it, and then we will be back. Um, so <laughs> my hair. She just got done like being washed 
and <laughs> I forget. I forgot this happened. I dropped my hair dryer and broke it. So <laughs> now it's not working. So I guess I'm gonna have to air dry my hair. And that means that you guys will probably see it tomorrow. Because I do have to be up at 3 a.m. to get ready for a work conference tomorrow. Which means I guess we just have to pray that our hair looks good. Um, I love you guys. I'll probably put a clip of what my hair looks like behind this, but love you. Bye. Thanks, hey guys. Um, this is how my hair came out. Hey. And so. It's so not good, but it's it's not terrible. It really is not, and like I'm proud of that. Hey, with some goodwill, I see some pieces that are like semi pink. Mm -hmm. Pink. Yeah. There is. It's in there. A lot of. <laughs> Poor man, we've traumatized him. Um, my recommendation to you guys is just don't do what I do. Do your hair done professionally in a salon or keep it au natural because <laughs> it's gonna take me a couple years to fix this. It should stick with, with, with a brown color like the beginning, but as I said, no pink, both like colored. I feel so sorry for her. I really, really, really do. To achieve pink, you need to go to white and that was from the beginning an impossible job Chris honestly yeah I think he did a great job I think this video was extremely funny and he did a great job of like bridging what he does with like what he's watching I think we're gonna end this here but I love you all so much thank you so much for watching I know I don't usually do content like this but if you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like. I love you all so much. And honestly, if you've been following me since that video, thank you for being here so long. That video was probably posted like a year to maybe a year and a half ago. And then Brad Mondo reacted to that in November. So it's it's been a while. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. I love you so much. And I will see you all next time. Bye.